Hey everybody, Azumi here, and this is going to be Parasite Eve 2 Part 3. And we're just going to check out the, basically the store in here before we head out to Dryfield. Which is going to be where our mission is at. Uh, that's where the majority of the game takes place. Let's see if I can even buy anything worth buying in here. Okay. I'm gonna buy the um, M4A1. It is a really good weapon in this game. And then I'm just going to use what I got left to buy ammo for now so I can use it right off the gate before I find an ammo box because it takes a different kind than my 9mm so it might be a little while before I find a ammo box for that particular ammo um, I don't think there's really too much to do here um, I can equip that real quick You can also put attachments on this gun, which makes it pretty good. Yeah, in this game, you don't have to move them all. You can just... Just hitting the word move is enough. There we go. Alright, I think I just talked to Pierce here. Yeah, okay. So they took all my weapons that I had, the SWAT weapons, and gave them back. I have to get ready first. So who else do I have to talk to? This is the sh this is the shooting range, so there's not going to be a whole lot to do in here. That's not what I'm trying to do right now. Check up here. Point and light is just a safe point. That should be it. I should just be able to leave. Yeah, I'm ready. What are you doing, Aya? Okay, here we go. I just had to talk to Pierce a few times, that's all. And here we go. to the desert. The Mojave Desert to be exact. Area 272.
fuel pumps, um, looks like some kind of store. Well, better start by questioning the locals, if there are any that is. So I think this right here is an ammo cache. For 9mm, yeah. And I think you can use your trunk as a storage. As a place to store stuff. Alright. Public phone, 75 cents. That's expensive for a payphone. No, it's too early for a save. Well, general store is locked up tight. Let's try these gates right here. Uh-oh. It is a dog with a human face. They're pretty stupid. If you let them run into a wall, they'll damage themselves. Because that's pretty much all they do is charge. Charge attacks. Okay, so this looks like some kind of hotel. Let's go in through here. I need to really learn how to walk straight. This, I guess, would be the... It's locked. Okay. In, the, in this room right here. Uh-oh. Looks like a bathroom. Oh, she's definitely gonna turn into a monster. Uh, more of those things. same monsters that were at the Acropolis Tower. Although I really don't think there's anything in here. Um, yeah, urinals. It shut. Doesn't look like, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to go in there anyway. Some Spanish on the wall. I have no idea what that means. Okay, let's go this way. Is there something in this dumpster? I thought so. Okay. This looks like some kind of restaurant. Saloon, Gene and Roy's, looks closed, it's still closed, yeah, yeah, I, I was hoping you would try to go in instead of knock. Let's go through here. There's a chance to have a random fight in this courtyard. Let's go through this little side gate. And go through, I guess it looks like a little alleyway. Um, if you talk to the well, bats are going to come out. 
And you get to fight bats. And they're a pain. And they keep coming. Get off me. You know what? You just wait a minute. Really? Get off of me, you stupid bats. I knew I should have never did that. I knew better than to mess with that well. I don't I don't need a combat light. No, no. Okay, so let's do some leveling up. Here's how you level up. We're going to revive this. Revive this, it takes definitely going to go for uh, I don't have enough for energy shot right now. So now I can heal myself. Without having to use my medicines. There's the recovery. Just kind of neatly tucked away there. And now I'm going to go in this here door. Douglas Scrapyard's rear entrance, no trespassing. It's not locked. It's not locked, that means I can come in. Remember, I'm FBI. Okay, this room has like a puzzle of sorts in it. Basically, it kinda, you gotta move this car. Oh, oh, there's no power to it yet. Do you gotta turn the power on? Yes, you do. Which is, what's that noise? Is someone on the other side or something? That's all it was, was to go over there to scare you. Give you a jump scare. It's an old version. Alright, so hit up. Makes the car raise because it won't turn. On. I don't think it'll turn while it's on the ground, but you just gotta turn it. To be able to get to that red blinking light right there. What's this button? Push it, of course. Unlock the shutter. Alright, now you can unlock this little path through here. you can't open the shutter with the car turned that way so you turn it again and you can just leave it like that and that's it for that now I can go through there 
Um, I don't remember what's in this door. Okay, nothing, that's why. Alright, now we go through the gate that I just opened, and here we go. Uh-oh. Who's there? What are you doing in my garage? Don't shoot. FBI. Huh? Don't move. Since when does the FBI have the right to go into private property? I didn't mean that. I'm not reading no more. Well, she's kind of FBI. Missed. I guess that's like the X-Files. Yeah, the place is crawling with creatures, dude. Even he knows it. So he does rounds around town, huh? I guess he goes around and shoots all the monsters that he finds. Yeah, he's got traps set all over. ahead and use the motel motel key number six. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself my name's Douglas I run the scrapyard I Abrea pleased to meet you Aya Aya huh sounds familiar it's a Japanese name my mother was born there that so, huh? Not really much else I can do in that room right now. I've got to go to the motel room number six. some of these other rooms down here real quick that it'll let me go into room number four nobody's home nope can't go in that one that's a window here's the room number three locked room number two nobody's home oh that one is open which means there's probably monsters. Yep, I can see them already. Get away from me. I need the uh, EXP to build up my parasite powers. Some of these rooms have stuff in them, some of them don't. Nope, that was just a monster room. I believe, I don't know. I'm not trying to do a thorough search. Let's try, I guess this would be room number two. Oh, nope, that's the gate. Room number one. Room number one is open. I 
I don't hear anything moving. What an old TV, it's got a channel dial. An old mirror, a portrait of a well-dressed man, Doc Holliday, a gambler he fought beside Wyatt Earp at the OK Corral. hate those things so much. Okay, let's get out of the room with the babies in it. Had the babies in it and go back to the gate because that's all the rooms that are on this floor there's also an upstairs with whoa forgot about you want enough room to dodge that one up here to kill. I'm not even gonna mess with them. It's alright. Keep walking real slow. Make it easy for me. supposed to go to but I want to check out the rest of the other rooms first I want to look in this one over here room number five nope it's locked and see if I can go into this room Nope, it's locked. That looks like, like a maintenance room or something. Alright. Motel room number six. Ooh, this looks way nicer than the ones downstairs. Alright, let's use the phone. A survivor, good. I see. Exterminate any remaining NMCs. And try to find out what they're doing. Nope. Alright, let's go out on. I can see the water tower from here.
Oh, looks like there's somebody on the water tower. Yep, there's somebody up there. Okay, so that looks like a good place to end this video. This would be Parasite Eve 2 Part 3. Uh, thank you for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe. And have a good day.